everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Our exams are fast approaching. If you know you are writing your exams August 24th and you have not started revising and you have not registered for our voice note class on Telegram, you know what to do. Can you send a message to the number on the screen as soon as possible so you don't? Don't miss out but today we are going to be talking about the nervous system some key facts relating to the nervous system we're going to be telling you the anatomy and physiology you need to comprehend before your exams some diagnostic evaluation some nursing diagnosis related to the disease condition of the nervous system but before we go into details kindly click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out let's go there right welcome back like i earlier said today we're going to be giving you some key facts relating to the nervous system before you get questions like what is unconsciousness what is head injury? What is Parkinson disease? You first of all get questions relating to the anatomy and physiology relating to the nervous system. So some common anatomy and physiology questions you are likely going to get relating to the anat relating to nervous system I mean are the first we have on the board is meninges. You can get a question like this with the aid of a well labeled diagram describe the meninges and the meninges we all know is the outer covering is a protective covering of the brain and the spinal cord you can also get a question like this with the aid of a well labeled diagram describe the flow of the cerebrospinal fluid describe the cycle of release the cycle of release all explains how the blood circulates around the brain you can also get a question with the aid of a well labeled diagram explain the brain or describe the brain describe the neuron and also they will tell you what are the 12 cranial nerves it's tell us if they are sensory or motor or both neurons so these are the likely anatomy and physiology questions you are going to get related to the nervous system if you don't understand this can we let us know by sending a message to the WhatsApp number on the screen? We have some voice notes relating to these topics, though we've not prepared videos on that. Then that takes us to the other parts that are common with the nervous system, which is the diagnostic evaluation. The diagnostic evaluation for head injury, the diagnostic evaluations for spinal cord injury, the diagnostic evaluation for things relating to the brain and the spinal cord this can actually work for it the first we have on the board is computed tomography computed tomography popularly known as a CT scan the CT scan fine you don't have to write it as CT what you have to write in your exam is computed tomography then the other is magnetic resonance imaging magnetic resonance imaging generally known as mri so don't write mri in your exam rather write the full word which is magnetic resonance imaging then the other one we have is electroencephalography eeg electroencephalography electroencephalography EEG. This is also a diagnostic tool, a diagnostic evaluation that you can also write. Then the other we have is lumbar puncture. These diagnostic tools are common and popular among the disease condition relating to the nervous system. Then that takes us to some common nursing diagnosis associated with the nervous system. So, so common nursing diagnosis associated with the nervous system. The first I have here is 
acute or chronic pain. You agree with me that pain is one of the reasons why most of our patients run down to the hospitals. Sometimes they may be having other symptoms, but if there is no pain, they tend to stay at home. So acute or chronic pain is one of the signs and symptoms related to the common disease condition in the nervous system. Then the other one we have is ineffective airway clearance ineffective airway clearance it's also another nursing diagnosis because generally when the brain is injured you don't know the actual spot that is being injured so there can be ineffective beating pattern because we don't know the actual spot that is affected in the brain sometimes it could be the respiratory center of the brain true or false true and definitely there's going to be difficulty with breathing Ineffective airway clearance is actually very, very common in an unconscious patient because this patient is not conscious. So the patient is not clearing up secretions around the mouth, the, the airway is being obstructed. So ineffective airway clearance is also common in regards to the nervous system. Well, another thing that is common is hypertemia, deficient self-care, anxiety, hypertemia, Deficient self-care and anxiety are common nursing diagnoses associated with the nervous system. So take note of this fact while preparing for your exams. Then also, do not take us to the nursing intervention, what you are likely going to do. The key points I, I, I outlined for my students when writing nursing intervention is actually Apodesera. Do you want to know more about Apodesera? Fine. We have a voice note on Apple Desera. Send a message on the WhatsApp number showing on your screen. Anyway, but the key facts you have to attach or add to your Apple Desera when writing the nursing care plan, when writing the nursing management, I mean, is assessment. I've always told you and I will always tell you that assessment is very, very important. It is one of the basic rules. It is one of the important rules of a nurse. You have to assess your patient thoroughly to be able to draft that wonderful diagnosis. If you don't assess that patient properly, you will not be able to bring out the useful nursing diagnosis so in terms of the nervous system neurological assessment is very very important assessing the level of consciousness is very important and how do you assess the level of consciousness you actually do that with the help of what class go coma skill so assessment is very important then in order we have to talk about airway clearance you know breathing is very important once the patient stop breathing death must be inevitable so you have to talk about ensuring breathing of this patient clearing the airway for this patient they will have pain management you know pain now pain brought them to the hospital you have to talk about pain management giving diversional therapy giving prescribed analgesics um giving cold or hot compress you have to talk about that promoting self-care this patient when they are in the hospital sometimes they might be unable they might not be able to take care of themselves so you have to promote self-care to ensure that they can live happily ever after now we have pressure areas you have to treat pressure areas especially in an unconscious patient i'm actually focusing on unconscious patients because most individuals that have brain injury that have brain tumor that have stroke they are and some of them going to a cautious state they are unable to take care of themselves Again, so you have to treat pressure areas, you have to um, provide oral care, you have to provide baths, uh, bed baths, and all those cares. Then also the sixth is, that I have here is, maximize effective communication. You have to maximize effective communication. Try as much as possible to communicate with the patient. Try as much as possible to talk to this patient, so that the patient will not go into depressive phase or feel left alone i think that is all we have to give to you today relating to the nervous system if you need more notes or voice notes relating to the nervous system all of them are well structured at nurses lecture room to make learning easy and accessible thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for subscribing to our youtube channel thank you very much for clicking on the notification button so you don't miss out if you got value can you Click on the like button, drop a comment, and also share with your friend. Thank you, and have a wonderful day ahead.